Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fellsburn. It is another day, and, uh, well, we don't have Oat Star Harvest, but somebody else does. I have taken on an Oat Harvest contract uh, with one goal in mind. Well, I guess two goals in mind. First goal, satisfy the contract, and then take any leftover oats for myself. Second goal, see if I can bail the straw that's on the field before I complete the contract. If I can do that, then we're getting ourselves some horses. If I can't do that, well, then we have some oats, we've got some hay, and we just need to wait around for some straw. We need to head over here to field 16, which is just around this bend. As you can see, our bank balance has jumped up a nice little bit. Uh, we had uh, we had a fair bit of uh, contract work yesterday after I left you guys. We went around and basically fertilized, I don't know, six, seven fields. Uh, fertilized a couple more fields this morning. And basically made maybe 40 grand off of that deal. Because I went and filled up our fertilized spreader with fertilizer. I think it knocked our bank income down to about 55000 or so. And at that point, uh, we went around and started doing our, our contracts to fertilize these fields. And before I know it, we were up to around $90,000. In fact, I think when we went to uh, bed last night, we had... A good ninety, uh, yeah, ninety-four, ninety-two thousand dollars. Kind of work this over here. I have absolutely no idea if I'm going to be able to harvest boots off of, or um, get the straw off of this field. We're going to try and see if it works. Before we get this guy started, let's go here and take a look at the field. Oh, look at that. We're going to get maximum yield out of this. We've got 100% fertilized, no weeds. It does need plowing. So I guess we'll get a little bit of a bonus or a uh, performance hit off of that. And you can see we're going to get $7,142 for this contract. I think it's about $2,000 um, being taken off for leasing. But I uh, want that straw swath because we're going we're gonna to experiment. See if we can't maybe... Uh, Pick up some straw off of this field before we complete our contract out. And if we can, then we'll get our oats a little bit, or we'll get our horses a little bit sooner than initially expected. Take a look down there at our compass. Try to keep a good 180 degree heading. We got to turn a little bit against the uh, against the hill. This is a pretty good, good hillside. I uh, see we have to take the uh, the product all the way to the southwest area of the map. Uh, our train. Yeah, I'm gonna like working on this field because we'll be, be able to see the train go by. Just got a thing for trains. So today marked the very first day that mods that were not associated with giants were released in the mod hub. Monumental day. Up till this point, all the mods that we've seen have been giant mods. Uh, basically, implements and vehicles that uh, did not make it into the base game 
but uh, were released you know later as a mod and today we got to see just a few uh, mods that were submitted by modders not giants uh, get released into the mod hub which is just absolutely fabulous hopefully hopefully we'll see um, a trend where we're going to have you know mods released with some regularity and consistency and not end up with a big backlog uh, in the, uh, the pending testing queue that's where that's where things start running into problems is when they, they start kicking things back multiple times for issues and you know in 17 what I understood lots of the uh, lots of the feedback that they got uh, or that was given with respect to what they were kicking back uh, was less than optimal feedback meaning that it was wasn't overly clear what the what the real issue was or how to correct the issue so we're hoping, you know, the community's hoping overall that uh, the things work out, you know, maybe a little better in 19 with respect to the mod hub, because uh, the mod hub is a really great idea. You know, I have uh, recently coined the phrase. It's not really original, but kind of coined the the phrase of a mod aggregator site. And with respect to the sites that basically repost mods and basically collect mods from all over the place and basically for all intents and purposes uh, provide a single source for someone to go to, to look for mods. Now, that's very... Um, um, it's very noble in, in thought. But in execution, it's not, they haven't been so noble in their execution. Instead, they've decided, most, most of these aggregator sites have decided to acquire the download and then post it on their own means, either on their own site or post it on a site that, uh, that will pay per download. And then basically provide that link for everybody to use. Uh -oh. The incline is causing issues. So, you know, where a good aggregator comes into is is an aggregator that not only provides one place to go to see a listing of the mods, but also provides an avenue for the modder to submit um, their mod to the aggregator or at the very least the aggregator um, doesn't download the mod upload it to their own servers and provide it for download but links back to wherever the mod hoster put or the modder put it at the very least you know because then I can go to one place and find the mod and two I can be fairly confident that I'm getting the real deal mod and not some uh, who knows what uh, file posing as the mod um, and be a little bit confident that I'm getting the current version I'm getting the version that the modder wants me to have uh, from the standpoint of you know it's it's been tested it's been demonstrated to probably be a working in working order and everything and then I won't have the risk of, of downloading a crazy mod that has been either converted or something that is malicious that's simply been named um, to pose as a mod uh, with the intention of having someone download it uh, with wishful hopeful thinking that they're getting something that they've been longing for uh, to be converted over yet it just doesn't make it so that's that's the hope and the wish in my mind 
of the you know Giants Mod Hub is that it could be you know a really good aggregator, but in 17 they really drove a lot of modders off uh, with the difficulty in getting things approved, the uh, lack of consistency in testing, and the uh, uh, problem with feedback overall. Uh, and the lack of feedback. Well, I like this. Two uh, Massey Ferguson harvester and tractor. Nice, uh, nice theme here. Let's see here. Well, I guess we'll go the same way we took the harvester. I want to thank everybody for the great feedback and comments that you gave on my uh, on my uh, discussion, one-way discussion. It wasn't a lecture, uh, but it was just more of a uh, just me speaking facts or speaking what I think are facts, speaking my views with respect to where I get mods from and and why I'm linking to certain sites. Thank you for that feedback, everyone that's prov provided comments in there. Uh, glad to see lots of folks were appreciative of that video. I was uh, I was kind of expecting to get you know, some pretty critical comments back, but uh, I was glad to see that were very minimalized. And you know, if that video has helped out one or two folks, then it was well worth the time to to record and produce and post thank you everybody so i'm going to enter into a bit of a time elapse and uh catch you guys on the other side of this field so we've got her all harvested and see how much we end up uh collecting as uh money and oats that we can use for our own horses. We're gonna come back, see if we can't bail this straw up. Or just no, we don't want to bail it. See if we can collect this straw and put it in our um, hayloft.
this is our second full load that we're going to take down to the uh, down to the cell point. And let's see, you're at 89 percent. Uh, when we sold the first trailer, we were at 50 percent overall. Just have to see if uh, this gets us over 100 percent when we sell this crop. Or if we need to take some more of that crop down to the uh, down to the shop or the sell point, got about eight thousand liters in the uh, harvester still. didn't take too terrible long it looked like it was about an hour on the uh, harvester lease timer or uh, engine timer it took about an hour to get that uh, field harvested but in the time lapse it just felt like just a few minutes Got to see the train plenty while we were harvesting that field. Saw another big fertilized contract, $7,000. Time to see what we're going to get. E. Three. Oh, just eighty eight percent. Leave this tractor over here. And let's see here. Let's get our trailer. And let's take this one up to uh, the harvester. And we'll unload the grain into this trailer and drive on back up to the cell point. have to see how much uh, how much we get to keep for ourselves I don't I don't know how much a single horse needs uh, didn't do that assessment very well when uh, when I did the horse how-to video service our tractor here soon too look at that uh, look at that mechanic gauge just under uh, under half fuel up with uh, diesel here too
I hope this trailer holds the whole thing. How much this trailer holds with this uh, capacity? This is a 12,000 liter capacity or if it's a uh, lower level. Ah, uh, we're good. Alright. Well, let's... Train coming. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, 17, the tracks weren't, uh, weren't that pronounced. But, uh, boy, these are some pretty heavy-duty tracks. All right, well, I'm not going to make you drive, ride with me all the way down to the train or to the cell point. But we'll be right back. We're going to sell until we see a uh, contract complete up there. All right, contract finished. We're not going to complete it yet. We got 3,187 liters of oats to, uh, to our name. Bring those back to the uh, farm. I was noticing right out here, there is a, a decent little... Uh, Flat plot of land, and eighty-eight thousand dollars by this whole section here. Uh, how much of it's usable? Nice little flat spot there, though. All right, so I'm gonna run this back up to the farm. I want to pick up the forge wagon and then I want to run back over there to the field and just see will it let us pick up the straw if it will then we're gonna pick up some straw and uh, put that away in our hayloft and we'll be able to uh, buy up our horse paddock next episode and uh, get to uh, becoming horse horse flippers. Probably paint it on our tractor tomorrow, also. Pick up all of that uh, all of that straw. We're going to be putting quite a number of uh, trips on the tractor, I think. Cover on. Must have not bought a cover. Trying to be cheap. All right. So, for those of you that have already done this experiment, telling me, of course it's going to work, or you're telling me, no, it's not going to work, stupid fool, why are you even trying? Well, I don't know, we're going to find out. If this strategy is too terrible bad, oh, no. That's a potato harvest. I am not doing that pull behind it. Not going to be lured into some big, big payoff. That took a potato hunt forever.
back up. On. Don't work. Experiment failed. That there, folks. Work. Figure out how to get straw some other way. That. Let's go here. Complete out the contract. There, look. No. Not going to do that. What's that feel? Field we were looking for. Not going to take the bait, buddy. Get another five. We can get uh, fifty six hundred dollars if we uh, fertilize field fourteen here. Did that one already this morning. Field ten, we can get seventy five hundred dollars for fertilizing that field. Uh, let's see. Harvest cotton. Harvest sunflowers. Harvest. Oh, no more oat harvesting contracts for now. Got a little bit of oats. Um, I don't know why I was thinking we would be able to afford that uh, silo. My gosh, that silo is insane. Gonna be, uh, we're not going to be able to buy that silo for a while. Trailer is pretty much occupied with oats. Much stuck. So we poured the oats on the ground. We're going to have to. Uh, no longer count on being able to use that trailer for anything else. Get our horse paddock and our horses. Take this back. Say thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click that like button. That'd be super awesome, fantastic. A subscriber please go ahead and subscribe you let's play videos every monday wednesday and friday here on bellsburn we also have quite a list of mod reviews and how-to videos and once uh once we get some maps coming out we will start doing some more map first impressions videos until next time guys happy farming